The Supreme Court starts its new term in a couple of weeks, but a decision from the last session is already making its way through the lower courts in more than 110 cases affecting all aspects of American life, including reproductive rights, airline fees, protections against healthcare discrimination, and background checks for guns. You may have missed this ruling because it came out the day after the Trump-Biden debate in June. Here's what's up. In Loper Bright v. Raimondo, the court overturned a 40-year-old doctrine known as Chevron deference, which has been cited in over 18,000 cases. The Chevron decision made it so that judges gave deference to the federal agencies that regulate industries, like the EPA or the FTC, when it came to interpreting laws when Congress hadn't clearly defined the scopes of the agency's powers, as long as the agency's decisions were reasonable. SCOTUS said that in 1984, because typically, agencies have a lot more expertise in their subject areas than judges do. Justice Elena Kagan wrote in her dissent that given Chevron's pervasiveness, the decision to do away with the doctrine is likely to produce large-scale disruption in the courts and the agencies that are charged with keeping Americans safe from harmful chemicals, financial scams, and more. Months later, we're already seeing that disruption, and experts say that this is only the beginning. In this case, a federal court in Texas issued a preliminary injunction on a new rule by the Department of Labor that expanded who qualifies for overtime pay. The injunction temporarily blocks the rule from being enforced against the state of Texas as an employer. Texas challenged the rule, citing Loper Bright, and arguing that the DOL exceeded the authority granted by Congress in the Fair Labor Standards Act. The judge said that a final ruling would come in a matter of months. Read our full story at the link in bio, because there's a lot more.